Finally, a meeting of the minds over the cleanup of more than a century's worth of mine waste in and around the city of Anaconda. City and county officials there, along with representatives of the Atlantic Richfield Company, came to the agreement just hours before a court-ordered deadline. Tonight, MTN's John Amy reports on the next step in this Superfund cleanup. After 30 years of coming up with a plan to clean up the mining contamination around Anaconda, a consent decree has finally been reached after some serious negotiations. For the last week, we were pretty much locked in a room, all parties involved together, and said, uh, come out when you reach a conclusion. A general conclusion has been reached in a consent decree between the EPA, the state, Anaconda, and the Atlantic Richfield Company in how to clean up more than 9,000 acres of contamination left by the mining activities of Atlantic Richfield Company. This is huge. Um, CD is something that many Superfund areas will never reach because um, it is an agreement. A lot of times people can't find that middle ground. This consent decree has been three decades in the making, but Anacondans will still have to remain in the dark on some of the details, at least for now. This is not my decision. Uh, I wish it was. If so, I'd try to release every detail I could, but uh, we've been given very strict instructions that uh, until we get the permission from the, the court system, we, we need to be very careful with what we do release. EPA officials will be in Anaconda this week to release some details about the next steps in the cleanup. In Anaconda, John Amy, MTN News. Thank you, John. A public meeting is set for tomorrow night, that meeting at the Anaconda High School Theater. At that time, the public will be briefed about the next important steps in the cleanup process.